Welcome to Always Dolls and thanks for joining us. On our recent community poll, we asked if you'd like to see a doll food series showing ideas to make a doll breakfast, lunch or dinner. Thank you for your responses. The votes were close, but the winning request was the dinner option. So today we share with you how to craft a grilled chicken meal with mashed potatoes, snow peas and corn. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video, subscribe and share to help our channel grow. We have an American Girl chicken piece from the retired slow cook dinner set. The piece measures 4cm across and 5cm in length. Draw a rectangle this size so we can make a version of our own. It will look like a chunky number 7. In the top left corner make a curved line that travels 2 thirds of the way down. Dip the line making a narrow U shape at the bottom. Sketch a diagonal line over to the right side. This hits halfway. Curve your line inward towards the centre top edge. Smooth the lines so your chicken has a rounded top. When you are happy with your shape, trace over it in dark marker. Then, cover the paper with a strip of packaging tape. This will be our template for sculpting. Here we mixed white and yellow air dry clay to get a soft cream colour. You could also mix white air dry clay with yellow paint to achieve the same base colour. Pinch off a ball about the size of a walnut and begin forming it into the chicken shape using your template as a guide. The top part of the chicken is thicker than the tail. Push your clay upward and inward to achieve this added dimension. Since we use packaging tape, you can peel the clay off to work the edges and create a clean transition from front to back. Use your fingers to stroke the clay for a smooth finish. Take a plastic ruler and lightly press in the five grill marks. Next, we took a second ruler and stuck them, doubling up the thickness to make the grill impressions wider. Leave your clay to dry out and harden. You may experience some shrinkage depending on the brand you used. To paint, we mixed yellow ochre with white for the first all over layer. Cover the front, sides and back of your piece with this mix. Next, mix a brown shade with orange for the highlight areas. On the AG version, you see this brighter colour at the top, left side curve and down the tail of the right side. Using a dry brush technique, apply a lighter amount of this colour across the bottom section and along the sides of your piece. Make sure to turn over and shade the back of your chicken in the same way. We took red ochre paint and a thin brush to fill in the grill lines both front and back. We also watered down our paint and flicked the bristles of the brush to make tiny brown flecks as seen on the AG version. Once the paint has dried, seal your piece. We used school glue, but you could also use gloss Mod Podge if you'd like your chicken to be shiny. For some greens on the plate, we used air dry clay to make kawaii style snow peas. Roll out four little balls for the peas. For this technique, you want to make the outside peas smaller than the centre too. Connect them together. Here we used a ruler to keep our peas straight. Next, roll out a thin sheet of your green clay. While the clay is still tacky, place your peas on the sheet and use a plastic knife to cut out a leaf shape around them. Wrap the clay around the peas. You want to cover the sides of your peas but leave the top area open. You may need to trial the size of your leaf to get this just right. Pinch the ends into a peak and the pod is formed. For more detail, use a toothpick to press the clay between each pea to define its shape inside the pod. You can join pods together for a cluster or just keep them individual. For a super easy side serve of corn, we used these yellow seed beads. Inside a 3.5 cm square, draw a wobbly circle shape. Squeeze out a generous amount of liquid glue, then tip in your yellow seed beads. Here we used a paintbrush to mix them in with the glue while also pushing the beads inside the circle guideline. When you are happy with the shape and height of your clump, leave it overnight to dry. Let's make a plate to serve our dinner on. For this we are using the lid from the empty plastic tube our clay came in. It has an 8cm diameter and is recessed in the centre. Cut away the lip of the can. Wash in warm soapy water and dry to prepare for painting. You can choose any colour you like, 
but we did a classic white using a cheap brand of spray paint. Serve up your grilled chicken, snow peas and corn. We showed how to make this dish of mashed potatoes in our DIY Thanksgiving food tutorial. Using the same method, you can make individual servings for your doll's dinner. Click the card top right to check it out. Thanks again for having your say in the community poll. Be sure to vote for your favourite option in next month's entry of our food series. Don't forget to subscribe to Always Dolls and hit the bell icon so you get notified as soon as a new video drops. See you soon for more miniature crafting fun!